Hey, I'm Warren Sprouse here on the Bible Forum. Have you seen this kneeling protest that's going on around the world in the sports and other places? Just when you think things can't get any crazier, they do. One man, a millionaire football player, kneels when the national anthem is played prior to a pro football game. And people wonder, what, what, what's this about? Well, he says America is racist and structured to keep black people down, and he wants to draw attention to that. And, of course, the media loves him. In the first season, cameras were certain to catch him doing it and make a point. And then came others, some standing next to him with their hands on his shoulders, others actually kneeling with him. Why? Well, some no doubt felt shame that they weren't taking the stand. No pun intended. Others for their own reasons. Some of it just for the spotlight. But over time, this simple expression took on a life of its own. And teams all over the league were scrambling to see how they would respond as though somehow they had to. Now, surely the players are pressuring team owners to do something. But why this? Why disrespect the anthem? Why denigrate our heritage? Well, it's very simple. This is in your face activism, the core of all political protest. But it's backfired. Americans don't like it. At the stadiums, they boo. At the box office, they boycott. They're canceling their TV subscriptions. Advertisers make it known they won't participate if they continue this. News shows, talk shows, columnists, Facebook, Twitter, they feature this phenomena. They did it for about two weeks, nonstop. So how's it working out for you? Well, last Thursday night at Green Bay, both teams stood for the national anthem. They locked arms in solidarity, solemnly honoring the flag. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in the show. Look for that video. It's, it's lengthier, but it's interesting, significant. 